YouTube. It's been a while. It's dev. I've been away for about a year and I haven't uploaded in a while, but I have been playing recently since the uh, NSO update came out. I've been playing the NS characters, been playing my TR character, I've just been getting back into the swing of things. Not best at the game, but still having fun. And I noticed I, uh, just, just going back, a lot of you were asking like for more videos and uh, somebody liked them. So today I'm just going to just make sure that I can, you know, still talk about weapons and I'm just going to review one of them today since this weapon is truly unique. It's the Punisher, the NS66 Punisher. Now this is an SMG. I mean, you can get this on every class, I believe. And it comes with a unique underbarrel attachment, but it's an option. You don't have to uh, actually upgrade, meaning you do get a rail slot, um, even if you uh, you know don't want to utilize it. It's, it's always going to be there. You can always have a high explosive grenade launcher on it. I do actually really enjoy that this comes with an integrated optic. I also have the uh, the Endeavor style PDWs and weapons, so it's kind of neat that you know they decided to actually put red dots as stock on some of these weapons. It's very nice. Red dots in general are just better than iron sights, as we all know. But barring that, let's just take a dive right into it. There's only four uh, optic attachments since you already have a 1x on it. Choosing the 1x option in this changes the optic to a triangle, which you know appearances not my favorite honestly you have your IR which looks like right here yes it is and you have a 2x which is a red 2x and you have a 3-4 on it pretty good range of options not sure why you take the 3-4 this thing kicks like a monster and I would not honestly be see anyone using this but uh so I think the 1x standard is going to be my go-to so I'll just leave that on you do have a compensator, flash suppressor, and regular suppressor. And you have the adaptive class under barrel, which changes the grenade launcher to one of the five different types of class specific grenades. Very neat attachment. Very, very. This is like the main appeal of the weapon. If you're not using this, uh, I, I honestly don't know why you're taking the weapon in the first place. You get your standard dark light. You have your extended magazines, which bumps it up to 30 rounds. And you have a laser sight, which is actually tightens it up really well. I, I could see this actually being a viable attachment over the grenade launcher if you just wanted to, you know, kill people. So focusing mostly on the... Oh, and you also have HVA and soft point, but it appears that soft point is going to be the, the go-to attachment here. So the main, uh, main draw being under barrel, let's focus on that for a second. The EMP on infiltrator destroys and... It's just, it's an EMP, it destroys things and takes your shields away. Impulse, you can knock back things as light assault, and I'm already on light assault, so I'll take a look at that real quick. Medic, it appears that you heal and clear some status effects. Engineer, you repair things essentially, and heavy assault, prevent mechanical targets from being repaired. Now, there's no real way, I actually tested this earlier, you can't get hit markers on like some of these in VR, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. A lot of these seem really unique. And I think I'm using this wrong. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Let me take ambushers off and put skirmishers on. Pretty cool. I can see this being useful with drifters. And I can definitely appreciate new little mechanics like this being added into the game. You know, it's only on web weapon, one weapon, sorry. So it is niche, but it is very cool. And if we put it on drifters. You can gain some good speed going off like a cliff or something like that. Even gain a little bit of height, it looks like. So overall, a pretty cool attachment. The weapon itself is actually, it's its pretty competitive up close, but as it obviously as it goes away, 84 damage minimum. This, this is a very close quarters oriented weapon. 769, 143. So almost an assault rifle-like uh, damage profile. Not really indicative of other PDWs. Most PDWs obviously you know, have 125 damage or 112, something like that, and very high rates of fire. And 350, pretty standard. Very fast reload at two seconds, and 25 bullets in the clip. Pretty decent aim accuracy and hip accuracy for the class. As you can see at range, took almost the whole clip in terms of like body shots, but out here for a little more careful. You can get in like four out to a little bit. 
I wouldn't expect to get more than three kills in magazine with this, honestly, just given, you know, natural accuracy. I think theoretically you could you can definitely get more, but with just the recoil the way it is, horizontal side to side, there's no way to fix that unless you take a compensator. And there is no side to side recoil mitigation as like a foregrip here. So with the recompensator you can do it's a little better, but I the the side to side is still very much there. So overall, I think it's a good weapon. I wouldn't take this immediately. If you've already unlocked all your stuff and you're looking for a new PDW to do, definitely pick this up, but don't rush out to buy this. It's a very cool weapon, but not something that I would take over any other purchase in the game. Alright, that's it. Take it easy, guys.